good things at least. That's uh, what, what one can surmise it. Perhaps that's what we have coming next with the chartered um, arbitrators uh, conference being championed by the um, chartered institute of uh, well nigeria institute of chartered arbitration uh the registrar joins us this morning shola ushuri john thank you so much for your time this Good morning. morning thank you for um so a number of people are first of all asking the question in their heads who are arbitrators well arbitrators are typically nigerians Oh, really? From all professions. All professions. All. That's right. Oh, oh, really? I thought the arbitration is a uh, parija. <laughs> yes, it is. Uh -huh. But, you know, when we talk about parija, it's not only in the law Laws sphere are, that you have it. It's not only lawyers that Even can Even in our everyday lives, we parija, we, we, we set to disputes. Okay. So, okay. so I can become a member of the institute? Definitely. You can if you want to, if you're interested. What, what do I need to have? Well, basically what you need to have is to belong to a professional body. From starting entry level is from um, OND upwards. Because mm. you need to have a good understanding of the English language and certain um, issues that you may be dealing with when you uh, finally become inducted. So you start from the associate cadre, then you move up to the fellowship. So as I speak with you right now, we are also training... Um, um, undergraduate students from several universities across Nigeria. So it's is, not is it, uh, is this strict to law. Is this too late for me to join this set? No, it's not. <laughs> uh, we, have mem we, have members, we have members from the 20s up to the 70s. So mm. it has no age barrier in terms of you have to be particular in like 50 before you become the corner of the or no. But then you put a caveat that the, you need to be a part of a professional organization. Um, yes, because... Your body. Uh, you need to be part of, I mean, not really a professional, but you need to be a professional. Okay. Okay. As to belong to a particular profession. Okay. But notwithstanding that, we have other people that, um, I would say they still belong to, you know, whichever way you look at it, everybody in Nigeria belongs to a profession. You may be a, a market woman, you may be into business. It's a profession. You could be a lawyer, you know, you could be an engineer. So it depends on how you look at it. But basically what we're trying to say is that, um, you have dispute across all sectors. Hmm. So whatever sector you belong to, there will be some form of dispute in your sector. And so we believe that you being a part of that sector will be able to handle better certain disputes that come out from your sector mm -hmm. based on your professional or technical experience yeah. or expertise. Yeah. So if I had a dispute with Ayo, for instance, and I didn't want to go to court, I wanted to come to you guys, how do I go about it? Well, if you have a dispute I you don't want to go to court, first of all, it depends on the mechanism you want to use. Because when we talk about uh, the Nigerian Institute of Arbitrators, we're talking about an institute that um, promotes as well as does a lot of training and handle um, disputes outside the regular court houses. So when we're talking about resolving disputes, you have to first of all look at, uh, do I want to use arbitration? Because when you talk about arbitration, it's slightly a bit formal than the other mechanisms like mediation or conciliation. So if you are looking at arbitration, then if you have a dispute you want to resolve, you need to first of all find, put in your contract an arbitration clause. So like I said, arbitration okay. is formal. It goes with having a contract mm -hmm. that's in written form. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if so, there's no contract, I can't come you to you. Still can. To That's say, I already did this to me, I want my money. No, you still can. <laughs> when we're talking about arbitration, you still can because you and I can agree to say, you know what, we don't want to go to court. It's going to be a hell waste of time for us, money and resources. And, you know, we have a very good relationship. Why do we want to ruin it? So let's use arbitration. And what you're going to do now is sit together, write out something, signed by the board of you, and then you will use, explore arbitration to resolve the dispute. But then if you have a dispute with IO and um, you don't want to go into all that stress of having to write a contract, then you can proceed to mediation. Exactly, because I was going to ask, if that pro problem does exist and uh, we agree, but I really don't want to pay her, how binding is that contract? <laughs> well, if it's arbitration and you've agreed, it's written, it's binding, it's final, it's a finality. You can go outside your agreement. In and which case, he would refuse to sign it. No, if he has not signed, and it's not you can do about it. 
Good. It's okay. So then you will have to exploit so my can run away with my money. <laughs> <laughs> no, he can't. There's still always, there's still always a recourse. There's okay. still always a recourse. To what, what, what you've talked about <laughs> arbitration, you talked about mediation. Any other Sean words? <laughs> 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 There's conciliation, but it's a little bit technical. But right now in Nigeria, where I speak, we use more of arbitration and mediation. Those are the two most popular. What's the strongest use. tool that anyone who is going to be an arbitrator, what, what's the strongest instrument or tool that the person needs? <sighs> the strongest tool that you need to be an arbitrator is a good level of maturity, your ability to communicate, to listen to people and your ability to uh, to be able to reason out stuff mm. that's basically it so if my name is patience mm. and i'm not patient mm. i can't be an arbitrator yeah it's, it's not you that you can't be it will be challenging you will need to work extra because um, the way arbitration is you are uh, a quaestor judge and so there are certain ethics and conduct that's expected of you so if you're not going to be able to uphold those ethics and conduct, then you'd rather not be an arbitrator. Because any breach of any of those ethics can result in your reputation being in pain, your, your, your whatever you have done that we call an award being set aside by the law court. Okay. You understand what that means? So um, if you feel you don't, you're not going to be a patient person, you're not going to be able to live by the ethics of the profession, then you'd rather not be an arbitrator. Okay, is it true that many arbitration matters in Nigeria are actually resolved abroad? Oh yeah, and that's one of, that's one of the reasons why I'm here this morning to uh, talk about it because uh, that has been a major challenge for us in the arbitration sector. Why is that? Okay. Um, well, you know, typically the way this, the things are in Nigeria, a lot of the time we believe what is foreign is better than what we have. As we have a very wrong mindset in that area. And then secondly, um, internationally, they have been able to paint the picture of countries like ours to say, you know what, you don't have the requisite skills, you don't have the enabling environment, and so on and so forth. But I always say to people, well, they have a point in terms of where maybe as regards an enabling environment, you know, is a work in progress. But when it comes to skills, we have all the skills and expertise here. And I say, if you can do business in Nigeria, then you can arbitrate your dispute in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Basically, because you've, you know that Nigeria is a good, is an attraction, is a good place for investment. You're making money from Nigeria. You are um, 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 growing your business here. So why can't you do, resolve your disputes here? Of course, we cannot um, shy away from um, their reasons as well, because there's a need for us to have an enabling environment that is arbitration friendly. For instance, our court system, you know, uh, the, the time it takes, you know, for you to um, move from one court to the other court, from the court of first instance to the Supreme Court, and so on and so forth. And then also our laws, because our laws are still our old laws, our laws are 20 years behind time. Everybody all over the world has moved up. We are still using old laws. So they have a point, but all I'm also saying is that there's also a need for them to look beyond just these issues that they have raised, to look at do we have the requisite expertise here? And can we create the environment for them to arbitrate here? Do we have the requisite ex expertise? Of course we do. I'm one of them here. Okay. <laughs> but you know, my, my challenge here is, I mean, your institute has been active since 1979. Yes. And whatever the issues uh, that the Institute may have had or could have been having, shouldn't they have been resolved over the years? What are those challenges and why has it been difficult to tackle them to the level where, you know, the world will recognize and acknowledge the strength of the arbitration okay. skills? Okay. Let me start, first of all, by saying that when it comes to the issue of expertise, we have the expertise here. We have uh, a lot of arbitrators. I can tell you for, for the fact that my institute has trained over 4,000 professionals across all professions. And we have trained um, MDs, captains of industries. We've trained um, Supreme Court judges. We've trained judges from all the courts, from the first instance to the highest court in Nigeria. We have trained senior advocates of Nigeria. So many, but I don't want to start railing out one who we have trained. But when we're talking about expertise, we have them there. But the issue here is, Expertise is not sufficient, okay? You want to have, you know, when you have an arbitration matter and there is an award, okay, 
in Nigeria, done in Nigeria, in Nigeria, then it means that if there's any challenge to the award, the Nigerian courts will have jurisdiction. So if our court system is not up and running as it ought to, then you, you see that that's, that's a, a challenge for them. So arbitration cannot stand on its own without having a viral court system that is hope and doing. So the problem hmm. is in the enforcement of the awards. The problem is in the enforcement on the award, and the problem also has to do with our laws. You know, I remember I said to you right now that the arbitration law is 20 years behind. Mm -hmm. So if everybody have moved up internationally and we're still using old laws, then you know definitely there's a deficit, there's a deficit somewhere that we need to deal with. As I speak right now, we have uh, a bill before the National Assembly on that to amend the Arbitration and Constitution Act to make it up to standards. So um, we believe that if the National Assembly is able to pass that bill, then that area would have been resolved. And then moving forward outside the arbitration bill, there's also the issue of when we talk about wanting arbitration to be done in Nigeria, there's also the issue of having a national policy on arbitration. And I know that a committee has been set up, but I also believe that the committee needs to be expanded to accommodate uh, the users. Mm. You know, there, there is a need for the stakeholders to be all encompassing so that it is not a top-down approach. The practitioners and the users must own the bill, must mm. own the bill. If not, it will become, it will be dead on arrival. Is that what the Chartered Arbitrators Conference is that what it's about? Well, the Nigerian Institutional Arbitrators Conference, that is part of what we are going to be looking at. It is about making arbitration an ADR work for Africa. We want to write our own stories and we want to hone our own process. Okay, so we want Fair to be a, a good player. We want to be <laughs> a major player in the scheme of things internationally because. Um, 80% of the arbitration matters that come out of the shores of Africa comes from Nigeria. Okay, so and arbitration is a multi-billion multi, multi dollar business. So in Naira, it's not, um, it's not cheap. From, so we are saying that this from, conference... From the recent awards and things that we've been having, you know, that yes. really is a fact that $9.6 billion is quite a lot of money. But uh, when and where is this, you know, conference taking Okay, place? the conference comes up on the 18th, from the 18th to the 20th of November. And it's a virtual conference. And what we have done, because we want Nigerians to be aware, we want to create that knowledge gap that is there. You remember, you remember you asked me, is it for everybody? So we are saying, come and participate in this conference, because this conference is an eye-opener. Mm. It's not a Nigerian conference. It's an international conference. So someone is watching now wondering, how can I be a part of this? All you have to do is um, um, go to our webpage, uh, events at nicap.org and register is a events free conference. At events at nicap.org and register is a free conference. How do you spell nicap? N I C A R B. And register is a free conference. And we have speakers from all continents. You know, we have the UNCITRA, the Secretary for UNCITRA, United Nations is going to be online. <laughs> we also have the World Bank, uh, the Secretary General of EC is going to be also online as well for the conference. So we, we want every Nigerian that is interested in moving uh, the resolution of this put forward in Nigeria to be a part of this conference. Well, that sounds like a, a place to go, right? Um, I hope they will serve tea and lunch. But anyway, <laughs> well, thank you very much I for being seven. Part, of, part of this conversation. Uh, Shala Oshadi John is Registrar, Nigeria Institute of Chartered Arbitration. Thank you very much for your thank time you. this morning. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you, ma'am. Thank mm -hmm. you so much. All and right. I look forward to seeing you at the conference. Oh, yes. Um, <laughs> as long as you can guarantee me lunch. Oh. <laughs> All right, so we'll be back uh, after now for just another topic. Just stay with us. <laughs>